desktop education in this session we will learn mode here what happened in mode there is no formula to find out when it is in raw data in raw data mode is highest frequency of it for example 1 2 3 4 5 so here 5 will be mode let's move to the sum and see clearly find out mode x is given below frequency also is given so here we have mark 30 because it is highest frequency and we have marked the below number of it 13 because it leads in same line so here here in frequency 30 is highest value so from class interval we mark 13 the same line so here mode is equal to 13 not 30 so the opposite number will be mode not that frequency which has so without formula to find out mode this is easy or else you have a full fletch problem of to find mode so clearly understand the question and move here they have gave continuous series class interval and frequency what you will do here cf no here you have to find the highest value of of what this frequency and name it as f not f1 f2 and mark the below class interval also and how you will put this in number let's see l is the starting number of this so 15 plus bracket f1 12 f0 4 so f2 2 into 12 minus 4 minus f2 is 6 and what is the difference between here 15 to 20 is 5 number so into 5 let's do it here you cannot do like you are doing in mode so check it out here see 12 minus 4 8 so write down here 15 plus 8 divided by into 5 here I have left place because we have to do it through this so see here check down 2 into 12 minus 4 minus 6 so 14 is answer is answer so now we'll do as we were doing in old sums see 8 divided by 14 into 5 plus 15 so 17.85 is answer so this is the answer you have to do like this only in old sums we were getting directly this part here what we have to do is we have to find out everything because here we have multiplication minus also subtraction also so by doing this we can find mode there are different types to find out mode also so we will learn that also let's do it.